This is where it all begins. The plan is set. The work has begun. This isn't the future. This is now. No time for talking. It's time for doing. Pops a three. Good. These aren't your casual fans. These are Rutgers fans. People who stand by these leaders, who believe in these players, this community, this university. This is not just any basketball program. This is Rutgers basketball. No screen, Baker, step back. Let me tell you, getting Gene back now, understand, like, it's a six-week injury. Six weeks. He rehab it to get back here early, man. Proud as, proud as could be. Rich Campbell, men's basketball athletic trainer, Rutgers University. Uh, just kind of, probably just like most athletic trainers, finished playing sports in high school, decided still want to be part of athletics, and just found athletic training something that uh, intrigued me and really got into it in college. So, you know, I actually started in the NFL. I worked for the the Texans, Arizona Cardinals, and then kind of transitioned into basketball. Uh, now I call myself an indoor cat because I don't have to worry about the weather anymore. So I love it. Good guys make me have to do a lot of work, but at least they're getting here to take care of their bodies. So Jack and I have been best friends for the past three years. Wait for a I just I just told him today he's my MVP, most valuable patient. I tell these dudes all the time: if you want to be a pro, you gotta take care of everybody because that's what the pros do. So. I'd rather be in here more than not, so. I think the biggest thing that we're using, at least for athletic training-wise and strength and conditioning, is the catapult data and the Sparta force plate that they use every week in the weight room is the force plate, they're jumping on it to see what deficiencies they have and, and muscle imbalance. So that can tell me as, a, as an athletic trainer, okay, we need to work on somebody's hamstring strength, quad strength, and the same thing as Coach Van Dyke, okay, what is he seeing from a week-to-week -week basis? If a kid has a drop-off in their, in their scores, is something going on that we need to address that we might not know or saw happen in a practice or a game? Watch this. Good. More important than anything probably is this new facility just from every aspect as athletic training room. We're gonna have a full doctor's office in there. If any of our athletes get injured, they're already, they're seen right there. They don't have to drive anywhere. They don't have to, literally you just walk downstairs into that, into that doctor's office, get it done. Athletic training room, we're gonna have the best and newest technology in there as far as recovery, uh, rehab, our modalities that we use for treatment. I think our guys are gonna love it. They're gonna have access to that 24 seven. Now this is gonna be essentially their home. They'll probably spend more time in there than their own dorms. I'm not, I tell everybody, if, if you ever need somebody to really interview, just come ask me. I'll be there after the game. <laughs>
uh, we stay on them to make sure that they're doing the right things, uh, you know, with their with their diets. Oh, on the road, they definitely take care of us. You know, we stay in nice hotels, we have catered meal. We get everything you want, so it feels amazing to have that type of, type of feeling, yeah. Second to none, it's ridiculous. Um, we get out of practice, we get a meal. Everything good, nice hotels and stuff like that, so everything good on the road. They treat us very, very well on the road. And you know, oh, if there's anything you need, you only can ask somebody on the road and they'll get it done for you. It's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Rutgers facing Illinois and Champaign. Two teams rapidly improving in the Big Ten Conference. The tempo should be fascinating as we watch this one play out. Illinois likes to go fast. Rutgers, Stephen, not so much. Yeah, Rutgers wants to take advantage of one of the largest front lines in the Big Ten. They want to get the ball inside, and Illinois wants to create havoc 94 feet. Amarui with the lob inside to Dorson. The dunk and a foul. This he'll try and connects for three. That's a tough shot right there. Baker step back. Three goes down. Numbers for Illinois. Aaron Jordan in transition off the turnover. Johnson against Asumo. He'll drive. Gets it off the glass. Early on, Rutgers rattled off nine straight points, and it was freshman Caleb McConnell who found the range. It was a harbinger of things to come. I love Caleb McConnell. I think he's got tremendous upside as much as anyone on this team. Great boys by the Scarlet Knights. Got down seven early. Didn't. Didn't panic. You see Michael now in year number three already has surpassed his Big Ten record and still plenty left on his 2018-19 Big Ten campaign. Well, everybody that's watched Rutgers at least one time this season understands what's happening out of New Brunswick. Something special is growing. His teams have tremendous character. They play extremely hard. They've got good size, and they're young. It was RU's best shooting first half of the season. They were a blistering 18 for 33 from the field and took a three-point lead into the locker room at the half. They have to think if Rutgers is going to win this game, number five has to be part of it here this half. And here comes Scarlett Ice, Homer Rui running the floor. It'll count and one. Here comes the Scarlet Knights, Harper underneath, and one. Some more young talent, freshman feeding, freshman. Baker creates and scores. Amaruyi, that's a pass. And finished by Shaq Dorson. Kicks it out, Baker for three. Big shot there for Geo Baker. Josh Feely, two more, yes. Yeah. Trailing 80-77, Caleb McConnell continued his torrid shooting. This for the tie, yes! As he drains another three, rolls through all the drama. In Champagne, down by two on the road in Champagne. It's Harper against Bishash Feely. Yes, and we're tied. The sumo attacking blocked. Picked up by Mathis. Mathis lets it fly. Good of it goes. And we have more basketball in Champagne. Down the stretch, the Illini proved to be too much, scoring six straight points and holding on for a 99-94 victory in overtime. Though disappointed, Rutgers walked away proud. A quartet of freshmen. The effort was extraordinary. The field goal shooting was their best this year. Yes, you can't always judge progress by wins and losses, for on this day, Rutgers served notice that their future is remarkably bright and that a challenging Big Ten road game will not intimidate this group of men in any way, shape, or form. Go loose and don't feel like they're, they're always looking over their shoulder, they're, they're going to get yanked. Uh, and that, we were talking about off that Illinois game was entertaining. I mean, they can deliver an entertaining game. That was a very exciting game. From Evanston, Illinois, we sit in the middle of February and a couple of teams looking to get back in the win column. Yeah, I agree, and I'll point to Rutgers in that they've had their first three-game winning streak in Big Ten conference play ever. They're playing good basketball, trying to get on the winning track here tonight. Floater falls and a couple of quick baskets here for Taylor. Mathis with the step back, he got it. And the first points here for Rutgers. Good to see Miles Johnson get that nice jump hook off the glass. Very skilled for a young big. 
Oh, wow. Omarui had a nasty collision with Gaines here. One of the toughest players in the Big Ten Conference, if not the toughest. Ron Harper for two. Trailing by five in a low-scoring first half, Geo Baker put the Scarlet Knights on his back. Geo Baker. I think Rutgers has a size advantage, especially now. Rutgers can really take advantage of Carter and Miles in the post. Baker lets it fly. That's his first three-point make. Wow, look at Shaq Dorson get Derek Carton off the block. Carton, all kinds of trouble. Got double team. And they're off and running. Omaruri with a nice little left-handed layup and avoids the flying Barrett Benson. Even if he is hurting, he's not gonna let you know because he, he wants to be on the floor. Here's Rutgers on the push. Bennett is taking the contact and draws the foul. Another and one here for the Scarlet Knights. The Rutgers defense was impressive, holding the Wildcats to just one field goal over a five minute span. And it was Miles Johnson who sparked a 6-0 burst by contributing on both ends of the floor. Takes it inside the lane for two. There you go, Peter Kiss, instead of selling for the three point shot. Well, lost it. Shooter, that goes off the glass for Miles Johnson for his first, for his second bucket. Perfect two for two. Now Miles Johnson, the engineering student, figured out the formula on that one. Both teams shooting about 35%. A combined two of 17, tied at 22. Points were hard to come by in this hotly contested affair. It was 22-22 at the break. Harden to six points. Only shot four times. There is the take and two for Geo Baker. Turner, that's inside the three, and he's got a couple back to back. <laughs> Dorson reaching up to get that one with authority. Baker kicking into an extra gear. He has flipped the switch to start this second half. Oh, great hustle defensively by Rutgers. All alone is Mathis. In the second half, Caleb McConnell caught fire, scoring seven points in a two-minute span. Ten points in the paint for Rutgers until there. McConnell's now gone back-to-back. Wow, Caleb McConnell. Parker's in trouble. Or he's not. <laughs> Take that back. The underhanded scoop for the and one. Down the stretch, it was a tug of war, with both teams making big plays and letting it all hang out. That was a heck of a move. Now you see me, now you're doing it on the baseline. Shaq Dorson and Eugene Amaruyi helped the Scarlet Knights open up an eight-point lead with six minutes to play. Thank you. Oh. To Dorson. At the doorstep, throwing it down. Ladies and gentlemen, Shaq Dorson is 275. This is the largest lead for this half. Omaruri for three. He's become a three-point shooter this year. Yes, he has. We'll go in the last six minutes for Northwestern. Meanwhile, three on the shot clock for Rutgers. That means Baker had to let it fly. Uh, Omaruri, one-on-one. They like this matchup. Step through move. Big response there for Rutgers. Eugene Amaruyi sealed the victory with two clutch free throws as Rutgers grinded out a pulsating 59-56 victory. It marked the first time the Scarlet Knights have earned two conference road wins and five conference victories in a single season since joining the Big Ten in the 2014 campaign. Thanks to some great defense, ferocious rebounding, and 25 fast break points, the Scarlet Knights are back to 500 as they continue to shock the Big Ten with a hungry team that plays with incredible heart. 
We're not done yet. Every guy made a play. We need to play everybody on the roster. You all stuck together tonight. You all stuck together and got a great road win. That's what we do. Yep. Great road win. Oh. Cheer on the women as they battle in Big Ten play. Join us for this historic season at the rack. Get your tickets at scarletknights.com. Well, we get taken care of when we travel. I mean, we fly charter. We leave the rack and we take a private jet to wherever we're going. Um, and as soon as we get off the jet, we have a bus waiting for us. Oh yeah, the charter flights. The charter flights are great. We don't have to see nobody else but ourselves. We get to relax in our own seats. It's, it's very comfortable. No, we fly, we fly charter, we, fly on our, we have our own plane, you know. I get the extra row, so I'm stretched out the whole time. So it's like really comfortable, you know. They give us our own little baggies of snacks, and, you know, it's just like, I look forward to traveling to away games. When we're traveling, I like when we go out to nice restaurants to eat the good food and stay in the nice hotels. Pretty fun. Um, I know when we went to Vancouver, there was cameras waiting for us to get off the plane, so that was a cool experience. Uh, but traveling, other than that, is it's like it's a time where our team uh, are focus. Uh, we have uh, a lot of team dinners. times that we eat, we pray, and then um, we have a business trip to play the game, so traveling is fun. It's fun, like we get to bond with each other, you know. great opportunity to, you know, learn from other cultures and learn from other program, basketball program. Um, so being able to travel all around the world, I've made even like, I've made connections with people that I never even knew I could, even if they speak another language. <laughs> but um, I think it's a great uh, experience to be able to travel around the world um, so you can learn more about yourself also and about the, other cultures. I just sign up for this. Yeah, it, it doesn't say bridges on scholarship. It's not saying bridges in the dark on scholarship. Yeah. We get taken care of. One over Page, a nice finish for Cryer. Cryer on the drive. And the lane open right up. CC Cryer weaves her way inside. My name is CC Cryer. I'm a red shirt junior, and I'm from Philadelphia. And just what Rutgers needed, CC Cryer drills a three. For me, basketball started when I was around age six. My coaches were telling me that I had the ability to go Division I. Um, just people that was around me were telling me that I was good enough to go Division I. Puts it on the floor, drives baseline at the block, an easy finish for Cry. I chose Rutgers because of the history. They've had tough guards that I looked up to. Um, of course, Coach Stranger, who's a legend, 
I wanted to learn a lot from her and play under her. Playing in the Big Ten is it's tough. Uh, the guards are actually big, unlike myself. But, you know, you got to fight day in and day out. That's an ankle breaker from CC Cryer. The atmosphere is great. I love it because it feel like we all are closed in, like close to each other. So I get we get more of that feeling of of of, of a connection with the fans and the rack itself. The fans are great. I love every single one of our fans. They even when we feel like we're getting down, they always are there to pick us up and they cheering us on. If a recruit was here and we had a one-on-one, -on -one, I would tell her to choose Rutgers because she will come out being the best person that she could be.